Assalamualaikum and good day. My name is Azli Nawawi from UKHM and today we will cover uh, new topics which is we will learn to create plane in Onshape. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so in Onshape, there are one feature that is quite useful and the name is create plane. And yeah, meaning that you can uh, create a top, uh, like, like, like I said uh, in the previous lecture, a plane is like a paper where you can draw the sketch on the paper and then you can turn into 3D model. So there are a couple of planes that you can make in on shape. This is it. Okay. So we what, what we're gonna learn today is the offset plane, um, plane point, line angle, point normal, three point, mid plane, and curve point. So all this plane is quite interesting and it is very very useful. Okay, so we start the first one, offset. Okay, what is offset plane? Okay, so in on shape, when you open a, a sketch, um, sorry, a drawing before sketching, on shape will in default on shape will give you three three basic plane, which mean which is the the front plane, the right plane, and then the top plane. Okay, so these are all the planes, and you can use okay other than that, you can use the the face of your of your part to make a sketch. Okay, each faces. Each straight faces can act as the as the plane, but if you need more plane, for example, you can use the create plane features. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, for example, um, you have okay, you want to make a plane, okay, that is parallel to top plane, but the distance is maybe uh, five inches or maybe uh, eight inches from the top plane. So how are you gonna do it? First, you're gonna go to here to this okay to this this part okay and then you're gonna click the arrow down and you're gonna choose plane okay plane okay so choose that one and then you're gonna get a interface like this okay plane okay the, the plane names and the entities uh, which is the reference for the new plane so because you're gonna make a new plane and to do that you have to uh, refer to the existing plane and this one is the type of plane and this one is a distance okay so let's do it so now okay forget about the entities we're going to go to the type of plane so offset plane and like i said before we want to make a, a new plane which is about 10 inches parallel to top plane so the entities must be the top plane so click the top plane and then so you what you're gonna get is the top plane as the entities as a reference and the type plane is offset and the distance instead of one try to change to maybe um 10 inches 10 okay so wait so i ah, see okay so when you click enter okay so you will get a new plane which is plane six mm -hmm. and the distance is about 10 inches to the to your reference plane which is the top plane so that is offset Okay, that is offset. Okay, that is offset. Okay, so offset good to go. Okay, offset. Okay, and the second type is the plane point. Okay, the plane point. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so what is plane point? Okay, problem. Okay, so let me delete this one first. Okay, let me do So what plane point? Okay, plane point is something like this. Um, you want to make a a plane which is parallel to top plane or any other plane. Okay, for example, top plane, and then you want to make the plane that um sit. Uh, right on the point that you choose for example this point or be this point okay so the plane gonna be on top of the of your of your parts okay so let's do it okay for example okay so like usual you, you just you need to go to this part i don't know the names because they don't have any label it is just the under the learning center okay so this part and then you choose plane okay choose plane okay and then the type of plane, uh, you need to choose the plane point. Okay, plane point. Okay, click plane point and the entity says, okay, try, okay, we choose this one, top plane as the first entities. And then, okay, for this type of plane, you need two types of reference. So the, the first one gonna be the top plane and the second one, maybe choose this point. Okay, that one. Okay, so see, you gonna have a new plane, mm -hmm. okay, over here. And it sits right just before, no, just top at the top of your point. Okay, let me get. So let me, okay, this one. So let me close another plane because you might get confused. Okay, so front. Okay, but we need the top plane. Okay, okay, see, plane six. Okay, sit above the the point that you choose. Okay, 
And, okay, we try one more, one more. We will we'll, we'll try it one more time, but we're gonna make it sit on this point. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so one more time. Okay, because this one is quite obvious, so quite and quite easy. So make it try to make something more complex. Okay, so go back to plane. Okay, okay, plane, and then you change the types to uh, plane point. Okay, plane point. And the entities, which is gonna be the first one is the top plane, and the second one is this point. Okay, so see, when you click OK, when you click on the arrow uh, green tick, so you're gonna okay, so okay, uh, let me make it visible, okay, invisible. Okay, so the new plane here, which is plane eight, and plane eight is uh, sit. Okay, directly on the other point that you choose, and it is parallel to your reference point, which is the top plane. Okay, so that is the second type of plane. Okay, and quite nice. Okay, so make it invisible. Okay, to make it to make any plane invisible or any part, so you just need to go to the parts and then you click on the eyes. Okay, making that invisible. Okay, so if you want to make it visible, go back to the to the features and then click on the eyes. So make it like that. Okay. So that's how you do it. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Go back to plane. So the third type is. Okay. The point normal. Point normal. Okay. So let's do it. Okay. So the point normal. What you need to do is. Uh, okay. The point normal. Um, it will make a plane. Okay. You need. Okay. The the reference is um an axis or line and a point. Okay, so when you choose an axis and a point, you will get a plane that um, go through the point, assist it uh, on the point, but it is normal to the axis. Okay, let me do it. Okay, maybe it's hard to understand. Okay, so example, okay, point normal, and then you, for the entities, you choose first, you choose this axis, for example. Okay, and then a point, take this point. Okay, so okay, when you do that, you're gonna have a plane. That sits on the point, and then it is normal to the axis. See? Okay. Okay. So one more time. Okay. So this one. Okay. Okay. This one. Okay. So we're gonna make something like okay. This one. This axis and this point. So go back to plane. Okay. Go back to plane. Okay. Plane, and then the type is um uh, line angle. <laughs> Sorry, point normal. Okay, point normal, and then it's point, and then and axis. So you're gonna get something like that. Okay. So what if we change the axis to another axis? So, okay, to to change the axis, you just need to delete the uh, the the edge of extrude one because edge is a line. Okay. So delete on the edge and choose maybe another this one axis. So you're gonna get something like this. Okay. Okay, so the the plane is sitting. Okay, it will go through the, the points and it will it is um, normal to the the axis. Okay, so this that is one type. Okay, so uh, okay, so we already covered the okay line angle, plane point, or point normal, or line angle. Uh, Okay, line angle is quite interesting. Okay, let's do line angle. Okay, line angle. For example, okay, let's do on the cube. Okay, line angle. Okay, meaning that. Okay, okay, let me show. Line angle is you. You want to make a plane. Okay, make a plane that have certain angle from the surface or from the existing plane that you choose. For example, okay, I go to to the 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 same features, and then go to plane. Okay, and then change the type to line angle. Okay, line angle. Okay, and then for the entities, choose um this plane. Okay, and you sh you you you're gonna need two entities. First a plane, and then another one is an axis for you because you want to to rotate the the new plane. Right? So axis of rotation. Okay, and then the new okay the one is zero degree, meaning the plane sits um, parallel to the to the uh, reference axis. So what about we change to sixty? Try click enter. So you're gonna get something like that. 60 from the axis. Yeah, yeah, 60. Okay. What about we change maybe um, uh, 120? Okay. So this one, this this angle is 120. 
Okay, maybe you gonna change uh, 135 for example. Okay, so the print gonna follow 35. So when you click OK, you 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 will have play like this, and it sits. It is one uh, 135 degree from the from the reference. Okay. So the good thing about this plane is you can draw, um, maybe draw a, 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 a sketch, and then you will extrude pom directly to the to your to your part. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Okay, this one. Okay, and you're gonna get sketch, and then you're gonna normal. Okay, so okay, you draw something here. For example, draw something here. Okay, on this part of the. Okay, okay so we're gonna get something like that, right? So then I I will I can extrude the circle and make a cylinder. And it will go directly to the to our part to the cube. So I click, um, okay, extrude, and then I'm gonna get the extrude, okay, interface. So instead of the, um, uh, the end type as blind, you change to end type as up to face, okay, up to face, and then you change the direction, okay, make it opposite direction here, okay. Okay, so then you need to identify up to face. So which face? Okay, which face? So this one is the face. Okay, like that. Voila. Okay. So it is quite interesting. Okay, when you can use angle on the planes. Okay, angle on the planes. Okay, that is very nice. Okay, nice. Okay. So the next type of plane we need to cover is okay. Three point. Okay, three point is good. Okay, three points is good. Let me show you how. Okay, three points. Okay, how? Okay, uh, let me. Okay, you can use three point. Okay, three points something like this. You can use any three points to make a plane. Okay, so just go back to plane. Okay, here. Click on that one, and I'm gonna choose some um, type as three point. Okay, type as three point, and entities. The entities is three points. Any three points. So for example, um, this point. Okay, and then this point, and um, maybe um, I choose this point here. Okay, so what I'm gonna get is a plane that sits like this. Okay, very nice. Okay, yes. Okay, so the best thing about this type of point is I can I can cut or I can slice my my part here. Okay, okay, this is a quick demo. I can slice, so I can yeah, this is the slice. So you split, I can split. Uh, go split and then I you okay. So part to split this part and entity to split with uh, this is when you choose the plane. So when you click OK, so keep tools on uh, it. So when you click OK, so you're gonna get you're gonna get two parts. So this part you can delete. For example, oh control Z. Okay, so this part is part five. Sorry, part five, okay. Part five, maybe you can hide or maybe you can delete. It's up to you. See, uh, so you're gonna get a very interesting shape. Okay. So we commonly we use uh, three point planes to do something like this to draw something on your cube and try to cut it to something else or yeah. Okay. Try to split or cut the the the, the part. Okay. That is a normal use of that kind of plane. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the next type of plane is the uh, three point or mid plane. Okay, mid plane is uh, when you have okay when you have plane like this. For example, you have um, this side, sorry, this side, and then this side. So you want to make a plane that go in the middle of the of the part. Okay, in the middle, middle between these two planes, it the plane the new plane is in the middle. So that that is when we choose mid plane. So go back to plane. Here, okay, plane, and then the type you choose as mid plane, okay, mid plane, and then for the entities, okay, you need to choose this plane and then this plane. The plane should be parallel. See, you're gonna get a new plane, plane 13 over there, okay, plane 13. Okay, so this plane is useful when we want to do mirror, you know, mirror. Mirror is something like you draw something here and you don't want to draw it again to, uh, to the other side. So you just use this plane as the mirror. So you can copy this what you draw here to the other side. That is mid plane. So usually we, we do that for the mid plane. Okay. Okay. So the last type of plane is the curve point. Curve point is quite yeah quite interesting. 
curve point is okay for example when you have uh, an object like this and you have it has curve here curve and you have a couple of points on the curve okay one see uh, these points these points and you want to draw a plane that is normal to the to the curve so it is quite easy so just go back to the plane okay this is the plane okay plane and then the type of plane you change to curve point okay curve point and the entities is a curve and a point so for example you take this point okay and then you take this curve voila see you're gonna get a plane with the shape like that okay one more time okay one more time go back to the plane okay plane and then the type of plane I change to curve point okay curve point and then the entities here is the point I choose the point here and then a curve this curve so I'm gonna get a plane like that and you can draw something and you can yeah extra cut or anything or maybe you want to draw extra cut you want to make a hole out of here okay so click on that one so and you go to sketch okay sketch and then okay you click right click and go to normal and then you got something like that uh, okay take a circle maybe you want to draw, to draw a hole right here give it a hole like that okay see a hole like that and you want to make a hole on your on your part so the hole you can use extrude okay extrude and then you can use instead of blind maybe you can use okay both you can use symmetric okay to make the hole from the both side okay this side and that side so symmetric okay symmetric and the depth you maybe just go the maximum 10 inches for example like that. Oh, sorry no oh, sorry the one is add material so now we're going to remove okay, because when i see you can make a hole out of the part okay so that is it okay it is quite interesting okay so that's all now for that's all for now for the plane and it is uh, quite quite useful very useful actually and quite interesting feature in on shape and you can do many 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 quick many complex size okay complex shape object okay so i think that's all for now thank you very much bye bye